King of the Road. Howdy, I'm Jim King of the Road. Welcome to the King of the Road show on King's Country. This is the program that features live music and interviews spotlighting the best local, regional, and national recording artists. Today, we'll recap the recent Hardin County Music Fest, starring country music legends Mickey Gilly and Johnny Lee. Ride shotgun with me to Coons, Texas. We always cruise Cadillac style, as seen on the Food Network's Log On and Eat with Eden Grinchpan. Extra large and turbocharged. It's the King of the Road Show. Oh, hi. One man has the power to take you behind the scenes. Jim King of the Road. Jim King of the Road. Mickey Gilly at the 2015 Hardin County Music Fest. In the 80s, my, my career took off with a bang because we did the film The Urban Cowboy with John Travolta. And, and I had a string of hits with a guy by the name of Jim Ed Norman. He took me out of the shadow of my cousin Jerry Lee and gave me an identity. And I'm gonna do you one of the songs that I didn't want to do, but after I recorded it, it went number one for me, and then I had the pleasure of singing it with the man that I admired more than anybody else in the music industry, Ray Charles. Yeah. I got to sing this song with Mr. Ray Charles on television, folks. See if you remember. You give your hand to me you say hello And I can hardly speak My heart is beating so And anyone can tell You think you know me well You don't know me No, you don't know the one Dreams of you at night And longs to kiss your lips Wants to hold you tight To you I'm just a friend That's all I've ever been You don't know me Mickey Gilly Yes sir Nice to finally meet you Well it's good to be on the show with you Actually there was a rumor that you were in the radio station I worked at a few years ago and it, it came out true and I didn't get to meet you that time so that was probably 10 years ago in Beaumont but uh, glad you're here in Coots, Texas tonight It's a pleasure and honor to be on the show, thank you I'm honored to meet you. Of course, you go way back with uh, the man we just spoke with, um, Johnny Lee. I, I mentioned your name, and he said, Mickey who? <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. he's here. <laughs> we started working together in the 60s at a club called the Nessa Dell on Spencer Highway in Pasadena, Texas. And uh, we've been friends for many, many years. You got a couple of really famous cousins too, Jimmy Swaggart and uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. You keep in touch with those guys? Don't hold that against me. <laughs> <laughs> you probably know too that um, I have two famous cousins I grew up with, right? <laughs> Jerry Lee Lewis in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and of course, uh, Reverend Jimmy Swaggart. <laughs> Don't hold that against me. But in 1957, when I made my first recording in the music industry, I had uh, tried to follow my cousin Jerry Lee Lewis into the music scene. He had a whole lot of shaking at the time. He came into Houston, he was traveling with Johnny Cash and uh, Sonny James. I get to run around with him. I was working for a dollar and a quarter an hour. So I tried to follow my cousin Jerry Lee into the music industry. I made a big mistake. I should have followed Reverend Swaggart. He made more money than me and Jerry Lee Lewis put together. Tax free. But in 1974, I broke the ass after 17 years. Some of you ladies made this my first number one recording in the country music chart. See if you remember this one. If I sent a rose to you, by the time you made me blue, you'd have a room full of roses. If I sent a rose of white For every time that I cry all night You'd have a room full of roses And you're still doing a lot of shows, huh? I'm working the road quite a bit this year and still working my theater. I, I'm a workaholic. I love to work. I enjoy the music. I enjoy the people, the camaraderie with the audience. And I, I look forward, you know, to going on tonight, performing for the folks here at this festival we're having. 
Urban Cowboy, the movie, really changed your life, didn't it? You and Johnny Lee. It launched me and Johnny Lee into the stratosphere in the 80s. For the first time in my career, I got to play all the main showrooms in Vegas, Reno, Tahoe, Atlantic City. Got to go to Europe, got to come back and play for two presidents, President Ronald Reagan, President George Bush. They gave me a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, invited me to come to Hollywood and do some acting roles, and the uh, rest has been history. How'd you like the uh, acting business? I enjoyed it. It was kind of fun. My first acting role was the lead major on The Fall Guy. I did The Dukes of Hazzard, and I did Murder, She Wrote, and I did uh, um, Fantasy Island. Don't ask me what my fantasy was, because I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Bertha and Ray uh, wanted me to do, they're, she's from Wisla, Louisiana, and they wanted to hear the girls all get pretty close down. You ready for it? A one, two, a one, two, three, pick! <laughs> Well, all the girls all get prettier in closing time. And when the change starts taking place, they put the glue on every repairs with a call on angels of the backstreet bar. Also appearing at the Hardin County Music Fest was Mickey Gillies' old friend and partner in crime, Johnny Lee. I did this song. It's probably my favorite song I've ever recorded. The biggest record I've ever had besides the Pasadena Police Station. What? That is not true. That's not true at all. That's a joke. That's a joke. Eddie Murphy even did this song on Saturday Night Live on Buckwheat's Greatest Hits. I found it in a cardboard box in 1979. In 1980, it became a big hit song in the hit movie, The Urban Cowboy. Remember that movie? <laughs> Honey, and I'm still looking for love in all the wrong places. King's Country. It's the King of the Road Show. I'm Jim King, and we're gazing in the rear view at the recent Hardin County Music Fest in Coons, Texas, starring Mickey Gilley and Johnny Lee. Here's my exclusive interview with Johnny. Doing a show here with your old friend, Mickey Gilley. You guys had a long run together there at Gilley's in Pasadena, about 10 years, uh, 68 to 78, something like that. Mickey who? <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. he's here. Yeah, we've been we've been doing some shows together and uh, uh, selling out some rooms, and it's been a lot of fun. A couple of weeks ago, I played in Russellville, Arkansas, and I was in Hinton, Oklahoma, with him at a casino, sold that out, and uh, it's still fun to see my old buddy Gilly, and uh, we still we we make a lot of memories together. We were talking about a few of them earlier, and uh, I still love him to death, man. We're like brothers. You talk often. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I go to use the bathroom, I sit down on the toilet and tell him it makes me think of him, so I call him. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for the show, man. We've seen you so many times in this neck of the woods. Of course, uh, this is your stomping ground, southeast Texas, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I was born in Texas City, mm -hmm. raised in a little town called Alta Loma, which they've since changed the name to Santa Fe, Texas. So, most, I used to have relatives live right around this area. We used to come see them. I remember as a kid getting scared to death going through the old Washburn Tunnel. I'd hide in the floorboard of the car, scared the crap of me. I still speed every time I go through there, even though I hadn't been through there in years. But I have a lot of, a lot of memories around here. Here you go, snuff man, calling all the bartenders! Went partying the other night. 
Started drinking, I got a little tight. We was playing with all of my friends. Felt so good, we had to play it again. Hey, bartender. 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 Hey, bartender.
KingsCountry.net is an exciting new source for your country music favorites. Stream us on your PC at home or work or on the go with your mobile device. At KingsCountry.net, listen to the all-new King of the Radio show every Sunday at 1 p.m. on Kings Country Internet Radio. Kings Country Internet Radio is sponsored by Red Wagon Cafe, Five Star Feeds, and Pine Tree Lodge. The best that country music has to offer, make KingsCountry.net a favorite today.